so I'm going to demonstrate today how to paint a sunflower. Uh, this is what our sample sunflower that we're going to be working from up above. And I'm working on a 9 by 12 canvas. It'd be great whatever color background that you want to do first, go ahead and paint your canvas that background and let that dry. So we're assuming that you already have a colored background. And I'm working off of a blank canvas here just to show you once you've got your colored background and it's dried to do the next step. So on my canvas, um, it's a blank canvas, but on my palette, I have these colors. I have uh, black, just a Mars black and a Sienna brown. I've got alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, cadmium yellow, medium hue ultramarine blue and cadmium red medium hue. I'm going to start with um, just my Mars black and we're going to start with the circle uh, somewhere on the middle of my canvas and right here is where we're going to start. So I'm just going to do a nice big circle and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with black. It's always great to start from something dark and then work your way up with color, uh, making your highlights the very last thing that you're gonna do. So we're gonna fill in right here, if you can give me a big circle, and we're gonna go ahead and use a lot of my Mars Black to fill that in. I'm using, the brush that I'm using is an angled brush, half an inch. Lots of water, water is your friend with acrylics. So I'm giving it a nice watery base and my first coat is a big black dot. Once I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my petals. So I'm gonna clean my brush out really good, clean it with water, wipe that off. And what I say is to load your brush with color. Now, depending on what kind of colors you want for your petals, for instance, I've used red and brown and a little bit of yellow for the petals up above. Um, it's just up to you what you want to use for color. So I'm going to load my brush, my angled brush at the base. I'm going to put my darker color and at the top, my brighter color. So I'm going to do a little red at the bottom and pull from my yellow at the top. So there is a combination of red and yellow. To do your petals, you're just simply with your angled brush, you're gonna lay your brush down and you're gonna just do a nice little angle down and come across at the top and back around. So you get this nice little curved with a little point on the end. And we're gonna do that all the way around, a big curve line and then another curve line. Curve line. And these don't have to be perfect. Every petal can be a little bit different. That's very normal. Um, again, you just lay your, your brush down and then bring that other curve line all the way back around. It's okay if it has a little bit more variation in the color as well, because in, in real life, it's going to be like that. So we're just going to keep going a big curve back around curve lines all the way back. If you'd rather change your petals and have them be um, more rounded, that's up to you as well. I just like a little point on the end here all the way around. And that's my first layer of my petals, my very first layer. I'm going to dry my brush off, clean it off here, give it a nice little dry. And hopefully after I've done my petals on the, my first layer of petals on the outside, I can come back to the middle and this should be a little bit more dry. So I'm going to go ahead and grab from my Sienna Brown and I'm going to make a circle in the middle another little circle and using my sienna I'm just going to do this nice little dot 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 I'm going to dip a little bit in my cadmium yellow 
I'm back to my Sienna and I'm just making this nice little dot, 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 coming all the way around to fill in the inside of my flower. I'm moving a little quicker than maybe most people because we want to get through with it, but know that usually you let the black part um, finish getting dry. So using my Sienna Brown and my yellow, coming around here, making, it's good to have texture, so the more thicker that you, you make your paint, the better texture that you're gonna get. I'm just working my way around, still using my half inch angled brush. We can identify where we want our light source to be, so um, for this project, I'm gonna pretend that my light source is gonna come from the, from the, actually from the right side. So I'm gonna add more yellow to the right side because that's where my light source would be coming down into. So I'm just thickening up this with the paint. All I'm using is the cad, uh, cadmium yellow and the sienna brown to make the inside. I can clean my brush off and if I want to darken that up, I can go back in with my black and make that a little thicker through the middle if I'd like to. And now I can go on to my stem. I'd still like to do another layer of petals. It'd be good to do at least a second layer of petals around, but while I'm letting these dry, I'm going to go ahead and add my stem and leaf. So to make my stem, I'm gonna use my phthalo blue. I'm gonna mix that over here with a little bit of my cadmium yellow, medium hue, and maybe even a little bit of my black. And I'm gonna go ahead and make straight down from the middle. I'm gonna jump over my petal right here and I'm gonna make a straight line down. And then I'm going to add for the leaf, it's the same like the petals. You're gonna do a curve line up and then another little curve line up and we're gonna meet at the end on the side, the same curve line up, another little curve line. We can fill this in with our darker green, which was with my phthalo blue and cadmium yellow to make this look more leaf-like. But at the very end, we can start throwing in some highlights with more yellow at the top. Again, wherever your light source is, that's gonna be where it's the most bright and darker as it comes down. From, because my light is coming from the right, I'm gonna add a little highlight with my yellow on the right side of my stem and also on my leaf here, I'm gonna fill that in. So for that really pretty green, we used phthalo blue and cadmium yellow. I'm gonna clean my brush now, go back to my second layer of petals. So to do that, I'm gonna get my brush nice and clean. I'm still using my half inch angled brush. It works great for everything. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my alizarin crimson and my cadmium red to go a little darker. And my next layer, I look for that little V between the two petals, and I'm gonna start right there for my next petals. I'm gonna come right between those two petals, and we're gonna make our next layer of petals. Going right between those. I'm doing them a little bit darker because I want there to be a variation. If you wanted to make your petals with more yellow or a little brighter, you can do that. But I'm going right between laying my half inch angled brush down and putting those leaves, excuse me, those petals in behind the next row. Jumping over my stem a little bit, and adding that extra little punch of color. Again, my alizarin crimson and my cadmium red. I'm gonna make these little petals a little darker on this one so we can see them.
Once that's done, I can go back with my cadmium yellow and I can highlight if I want to add a little bit more pop of color. So I might come back in here and firm up these first little petals, giving them a little bit more bright. Always remember that your shading would be at the base of the petal, and as it comes out towards the sun, it's gonna be brighter. So I might add a little bit of color here just to firm up those first set of petals, make them a variation with the next set. Just add a little bit of yellow. The big thing with these sunflowers is we don't want there to be any part of this that's not filled in. So you might need to add a little bit more brown or maybe you would want to add a little bit of your black um, down here at the base. So I might grab a little bit of my sienna, my raw sienna, and add a little bit of uh, depth there on the outside just to make sure we don't have any white showing. Give some depth on the outside of that center part. So we have a nice full flower here. Now if you want to add also some more dimension um, and more interest to your leaves, you'd want to clean your brush. You can always grab a little bit of your black or your, mix that with your green. What you would want to remember is that white and black are your friend if you use them at the end. So you don't want to put too much black in except for that first circle that we did and then now maybe to give some detail. So I'm going to draw a little curve line with my black. This is going to give a little detail into my leaf like this. You can grab a little bit more from your black and make some angled lines coming in. The angled lines will extend from the middle line or from the outside come back in. And remember we have it a little darker on the bottom side and a little brighter on our top side because we're using that light source for that highlight with our yellow. And that perfect grass green is your phthalo blue with your cadmium yellow. So that looks pretty good. Um, you can always go back and do some different things to add more dimension to your petals. If you want them to be more distinct or more colorful, you could always mix a little bit more of your alizarin crimson. Uh, you can make purple by mixing your red and blue together and make them a little bit darker, your, your petals. You can add a little bit more depth that way. Um, it's nice to be able to add some color, yellow and red together, make a great combination. And we just don't wanna have any white that's gonna be showing through. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching and happy sunflowers.